Ah, uh, hello there, guys. This is Don Bales. Welcome back for more Let's Play Majora's Mask. Sound an awful lot like Cartman today. But it's okay, it makes sense. We're Darmy Poo and he's fat, just like Cartman, right? Darmy's like, screw you guys, I'm going home. Just kidding, we're not going to the mountains. We're going to the left, to the left. Because, like I mentioned last time, there's somebody out here I need to talk to. And of course, we can hear his music. This crazy ass is out here every single night, in the middle of the night, just dancing. In his drawers, half naked, out in the cold. I swear, only a white man in purple underwear could pull this off so smoothly, though. Ow! Oh. I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. Uh. Translation, I am disappointed, O Moon. I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world to Gaza and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. I love how Link just follows his movements. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. Well, the spirit dancer Kemaro seems like he has a pretty tortured soul and has some unfinished business, so we should help him out here real quick. Heart, heart. Pink swirly hearts. Heals the soul every time. Seems like this is definitely a reoccurring theme in this game. Coming across ghosts with unfinished business and Link has to help them out, so... Study those moves, Link! Oh. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Uh. Translation. I have taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze, yeah? Apparently Camaro's a Swede now. I don't I don't even know. But look at his awesome mask. I don't know, I think it's kind of creepy. Notice that his face is actually elevated above where Link's face is gonna be going into oh. the mask. I guess it's to make him seem like taller and more elegant or something like a ballerina. Uh. You know how they're all like tall and graceful. I'm counting on you. I don't know why. I, I guess Kimaro's Swedish. <laughs> that word Swedish always reminds me of Tom Green. My bum is on the Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> it's just a stupid song. Anyway, while we're over here, Let's go bombs and do dongos. Not really, we're not using bombs at all. They will try to bomb us though, trust me. Stop turning around! So I have found that this is so much easier as Darmani. Like, you should see me try to fight them as Link. It's embarrassing, like you would be embarrassed watching me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. But I just found that like they die so much quicker, see? Bam, bitches! Three hits and they're down. And get away from them when they're dying because they will bomb you. And it's not supposed to be that way. You're supposed to be the one bombing them. So, yeah, just ball up as soon as you hit them and they'll turn around and then don't get hit by the fire. And that's it. Ta-da! Darmy, you're my hero. Thank you so much for not embarrassing me like Link would. But, you know, that's not even an option right now because Link doesn't even have his sword. It's still being upgraded. Which, by the way, I hope I don't forget to go there in the morning. I won't. I won't. Since I'm saying it right now. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Ah! All right. He's a present. I love how Darmy Poo just like reaches in there with his arm where Link has to like heave half of his body into the chest and Dinky Poo has to like jump <laughs> actually in the chest because he's so small, but it's adorable. So what can I say? All right, glad I got that done. Phew. I think this transition is so weird. Like from snowy ass mountains to the sandy beach. Like couldn't they have I feel like they should have put those two areas on opposite ends of Termina, but whatever. All right, here we are. This is where we're supposed to go with Kimaro's map, so hello, ladies. Don't bother us, bitches. The Rosa sisters, <laughs> twin dancers. So, hmm, they look like they're having some trouble with the dance move. I think I have a little solution for them. Let's put on our mask. Too bad you couldn't dance as Darmani. That would be hilarious. Now look at this mask. Link has no face. Oh God. You know what it reminds me of? The Slender Man. Ah! Holy crap, y'all. Imagine the Slender Man dancing to this <laughs> with his long spindly arms. I think it would be one of the most majestic, graceful things just ever. <laughs> this has to be, seriously, my favorite cutscene in all of Zelda games. Just the sheer absurdity of seeing Link dancing. Like, he's always so serious, and he never speaks. And then there's this creeper soldier here. <laughs> it's just 
just hilarious. And then, of course, you get to see some girls' underwear. I mean, I think that's their underwear. All I know is that there's a hole on the bottom of the dress, and you can see straight to their ass. Like, really? They, they just forgot to cover that up. <laughs> you are our master! <laughs> Ladies, get up! Save yourself some dignity! My goodness, they're just like throwing themselves at Link. But what can you expect? Link's a ladies' man. A ladies' man. A la 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 ladies' man. Aw, he stole the hearts of the dancers! Literally. If, if it's hearts, there's two of them. Where's my second heart piece? I mean, really. Master, you're so cool! Didn't we just hear that from Crimea? All the ladies be thinking Link's cool. Steals the hearts of everyone. I mean, who, when they were younger, didn't have a little crush on Link? I mean, even just a little one. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe even the boys, too. I don't know. Look how smooth he is. <laughs> I like when I can actually dance, like, completely in sync with him. I wasn't quite in sync, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> so it's almost morning time. What should I do next? I could go get my sword. Or I can play with the puppy. Come here, puppy. Come here, little dick. You can come with me. Actually, no, I can get another heart piece here in town because remember last time I tried the treasure chest game right here. Let's go. Come on, puppy. No, he left me. Where did he go? Like, really, is it that hard to carry a dog into another part of town? They should have done that. Yeah. Oh, the pain. The pain. I'm sorry, Link. Okay, I believe they're open at 6 a.m. That girl better be here. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. A cup of coffee. Can you imagine going into work at 6 a.m. at, like, a game place? Like an arcade or something? Like, really, 6 a.m.? No. <laughs> I like this girl's hair, though. I really do. I'm a fan. You know what she kind of reminds me of? Um, like with her haircut and her like big eyes and her eyelashes like that. She kind of reminds me of Twiggy, which is like one of the first supermodels ever, like from the 1960s or something. Again, guys probably aren't going to know what I'm talking about, just girls. Maybe. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. Time to steal more of my money, woman. I know what you're doing. Gold digger. Do I look like a sugar daddy to you? Probably, I mean it's Darmani. <laughs> He's pretty awesome. Not. What's with all the girls in this game? They just like throw themselves at the guys. I swear. You know, speaking of sugar daddies and stuff like that, I have legit had guys offer me for them to be my sugar daddy. <laughs> like, I'm not even lying. This happens. Um, ugh. Which I think is pathetic. Like, really? Is that the only way that you can get a girl is by offering her money and material possessions? Like, seriously. That just seems pathetic. What even happened this year? I was out with some friends and we had just gone dancing and we were out like eating Mexican food afterwards and this guy was like, yeah, I own my own company and he wasn't really that old but and he was looked pretty attractive but I was just like, ugh, like really? That's kind of pathetic, dude. Dude, I, this puzzle was impossible. I tried every way to get back there. Did you see that? Or maybe I was just missing something. Woman, I knew you were trying to steal my money. The hell? Okay, one last time. Hopefully I make it this time. Ah! Okay, and then the other time, um, I was canvassing a neighborhood for Kirby, because I was the girl who went door to door and asked people if they wanted like a free carpet cleaning because we sold Kirby vacuums. And the sales guy would go in there and like demonstrate and try to sell the vacuum. Well, one time I went to this like super nice house and this guy answered the door shirtless and he was like, oh, I can't get a carpet cleaning today because I'm going on a date in San Antonio, like all bragging. And then he was like, well, since I can't get my carpet clean today, maybe we can reschedule and you can give me your number. Or better yet, maybe I could take you on a date and we could have some fun. I have a boat. Like, he's totally bragging. Like, wanting me to be his girlfriend. I was just like, oh, God. So I was just like, okay. So I took his number and left and ran away. I was like, oh, God. Never again. I hate this job. Like, can you imagine? I just feel like that would be so degrading to say yes to an old man like that. Ugh. Oh, I like this place, though. It's so pretty and colorful. In this big open floor here, it kind of reminds me of like a roller rink. Did y'all ever do that when you were younger? Or is that just like really early 90s kind of thing? Cause I remember we used to go all the time and it was like the shit. I remember going on um, like to parties and like to field trips and stuff. There was this one in my hometown called Skate Queen. We were there all the time, it was awesome. I remember skating around the rink like to Spice Girls and NSYNC and stuff. Oh yeah. 
right, I'm gonna go up to the mountain village again and get my sword. My golden sword, sword, you cannot afford board. My golden sword, sword. Oh my gosh, I've been referencing to Buskus a lot lately. I've noticed this. Probably because I just started watching him regularly this summer. So when I start getting into something like that, I tend to reference it a lot. I'm sorry. I know some people don't like him for some reason, but I do. I think he's funny. Alright. Okay, Smitties. Give me my sword. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so pretty. And it's gonna be really strong, so yay, which we're gonna need for sure. I definitely recommend doing this before going on any further in the game. Ta-da! The razor sword has been strengthened. Now it's the gilded sword. You know, with the diamonds on it, it kind of reminds me of Garahim. I mean, right? Like, this is totally the sword that Garahim would wield if he needed a sword. It totally matches outfit. He would look fabulous. <laughs> no matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, and I used to bust the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. Yeah, right. I know you're using it for those nipple rings. Don't lie. Right? Right, Gabora? He's like, yeah, I didn't get any for myself. Not fair. <laughs> Boom. Oh my gosh! I just noted that <laughs> noticed that Link's facial expression when you hit something? Or maybe just when you swing the sword. That's funny. Like his mouth opens and his eyes get all big and he looks down. That's funny. I can't believe I never noticed that before. Does he make different facial expressions for every move that he does? Huh, interesting. Let's test this baby out. It's probably just gonna kill this. Hey, oh, now you're getting it. I wasn't gonna kill you before, bitch. Anyway, now let's really test this guy out. I know some place I can go to wreck some shit up <laughs> and get another heart piece. I guess this is just the heart piece episode. Stealing hearts? What can I say? Make me a ladies man. Actually, we're not gonna go talk to another girl this time. But I wouldn't be surprised if somebody confused this guy for a girl because he has some long, luscious locks, let me tell ya. You like my alliteration there? Linky poo. <laughs> I'm a big fan of alliteration. Someone asked me the other day how I came up with the, the name Bell's Bitches. Alliteration. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Swordman School. How's that for more alliteration? <laughs> Cow. All right, look at this guy. Look at that hair. He's a very hairy fellow. Even his chest and everything. The manly man. Rumors are spreading which suggest the moon is falling. But you can breathe easier as long as I'm in town. Tonight, I shall cut the moon to pieces. If one does not have such skill, he cannot teach the way of the sword to others. If you wish to be as powerful as I am, then I shall teach you until nighttime. So, will you try it? Yes. Don't even bother with the novice course, unless you're just really bad at wielding the sword in this game. This is basically just a session. There's going to be ten logs, and you're going to want score three points for each log so you can get 30 points and then he will give you a present so what we're gonna do unsheath your sword target oh, target an A and that's all you gotta do and make sure you're a good distance away from the log so you can actually slice it in half like this and as you can see there's a counter I'm getting three points for each log that I sliced and notice the floor it like eats the logs up it makes this sound like it's super hard but then, like, the logs get eaten like quicksand. It's awesome. All right, two more. Yeah. Target it. Target it quickly. Go. No. Oh, my gosh. Really? Ugh. Stupid. All right. I'm just going to skip ahead to when I get this. That was dumb. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da. 30 points. I am an expert. Hum, impressive. I must give you something. Here! Ta-da! We stole the swordman's heart. Because, <laughs> you know, Link is that much of a pimp. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. Yes, sir. Gong! Dude. <laughs> I think your gong's broken. It sounds funny. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know the commentary in this episode was a little random, but isn't it always? Alright, guys. Love you. Bye!